What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, you probably saw in the thumbnail, we got new headlights for the truck. Um, my truck's a 2013, the, uh, the headlamps have been on there obviously since original and then I think two or three years ago I actually did the baking and then kind of cut the lens from the, from the actual lamp itself and then painted the, uh, the housing black and glued it all back together in silicone which I did a good job, it worked for a while. But uh, some of the inside is starting to crack, um, and then the uh, I, my bulbs have burnt out like twice now in the last six months. So I was on there searching for a better uh, light bulb. I went with the Hikari, I guess is what it's called. They're right over here. And uh, but anyways, I'll show I'll show you that here in a second. I want to show you the actual lights. I'm super pumped. Again, got them off Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description for them. They got here in less than a week. These are them. Bam! They look freaking sweet man i'm super pumped to get these on the truck um they do have uh you know they're, they're the daytime running led tube on here which i really liked um i actually was looking at that uh just the c one but went ahead and did this because a lot of the newer raptors and stuff kind of look like that and i've got the raptor grill so why not kind of go with that theme um the low beam has got the halo and uh, these are actually for h7 bulbs so you will need i think they do come with the halogen in this uh, but you, I did read on Amazon, you can remove those and put in the uh, the LED bulbs, which are right over here. Like I said, these are the Hikari. They're the H7 bulbs, so um, they are replaceable in there. But here's one on the counter. I already got the uh, driver's side open. So again, halos for the low beam, and then you have your standard output for the high output bulb. Um, and yeah, you can see there's already bulbs in them. Um, not the actually the uh, turn signal. But... Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to get these on the truck. Um, I want to get some LED amber turn signals. Um, I might just do the halogen for today because I don't have any resistors on me to, to do the LED for those bulbs. But uh, yeah, I'm super pumped about them. They look great. Like I said, the packaging was good. They got here less than a week. Description will be, uh, or the <laughs> link to these will be in the description if you're interested or have a truck like this. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get them on the truck. I'm pumped. All right, guys, <clears throat> before we go out there, I just finished doing the uh, passenger side one. Um, I'm going to kind of show you what the back of all this is. So starting this, the easiest stuff, I guess. You peel this off. It's just a sticker. Um, that'll be for your turn signal bulb. It normal one screws in there. The high beam um, actually will plug into this plug. I was starting to take this apart to see how it worked. So when you unscrew this piece here, that's your H1 high beam bulb. So this is all contained, it's got a rubber seal and that'll hold it in there. And then in here is where, that's the halo front of the bulb. So you take these three um, screws out here and this cover will come off and that's where your, uh, your low beam bulb would be. But uh, it's kind of interesting that they all run through this, the same socket because you've got the power power and then a ground. So I guess it, you know, is wired up internally that way. So you've got, like I said, you got the three screws. I'll speed this up in the video, maybe. And then you take all three of these out. Um, and that'll be, uh, like I said, this is for the, the low beam, which is what I'm putting in an LED right now. And then I'll do the, uh, I'll get, I'll order a set of H1 LEDs. I honestly didn't order all of them because I didn't, I've heard some reviews they don't fit. And people, if I had to alter the covers, this one you might have to alter just because it's kind of shallow. But this one's got a nice build out. I'll show you. So you take this off, um, and then it's a pretty, pretty good sized cover, and it's got the uh, the rubber seal here, similar to kind of like a valve cover, I guess, kind of slips in there. So when you take that off, now here's your H7 bulb. And what I found is, um, you know, just using a pair of uh, like wire cutters. You know, we'll unplug it first. So you've got the uh, the plug for it right here. Jesus, I make it hard. I'll right, we'll take the wire off first. Kind of loop it around the wires, I guess. And I found it was kind of a, it was a little bit of a pain in the butt to get. Um, there's your H7 bulb. But you notice on the new LEDs, they've got this housing on the back of them where we have the fan and stuff. So that was kind of difficult trying to bend this thing around there without damaging the bulb or damaging anything else so let's get this one unplugged come on bro all right so there you go there's uh your standard h h7 bulb and uh 
this is what we're going back in with. Obviously, you have the tab here to align it up inside here. So the tab's going to go down on this one. So you get that in like so. And what I was doing is I kind of bent this smaller one up a little bit. And again, normally if you weren't putting these style LEDs, you could do it by like by hand. But I found having these tweezers is a lot easier. So you really... I also heard that they make different clips that you may not have to do this or spend this much time doing it, but I figured I'd kind of show you. It's not a super easy walk in the park, but it's doable. So you get this down, and this is where I had a little bit of trouble. You gotta grab it like right at the edge of this wire and walk it around and hook it in. Okay, so now you can see. Let me lay this face down, I'm scratching it. So you can see how that wire, it's making contact with the light, but I don't think it's gonna be really gonna be an issue. So it's holding it in there. The light isn't moving or going anywhere. Um, and then what I did is, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and connect, connect this wire obviously to the plug here, and then the cover goes back on. Um, this little green one, this is uh, for your little marker light on the side. It's, I think, like a 9, 912 bulb. Um, that, I believe, is what runs the daytime running LED tube. That's the only thing that makes sense. So you got really your one bulb for your light, your turn signal down there or up there, and then you have your 912 that does uh, when your, your parking lights come on, your uh, doohickeys will come on, your uh, LED bulb. So, um, yeah, it's going to make the video a little bit longer, but I figured I'd kind of show you how to do that. Okay, we're back. Last little clip before we run out to the truck. So, I just want to show you the LEDs are in there. The cover goes back on. It's flush, so you don't have to worry about having enough clearance, at least on these style lights or anything similar to that. This one, I'll update you guys. It does, in fact, it's pretty close. Um, I think I already did this, but when you take this cover off, it's pretty close to where that plug is. Um, so, I'll have to let you know because... I mean, well, this light, the plug isn't on the back of it. So you've got your actual light bulb and then the plug is on a wire. So it might work when you get this back on. Um, so I'll, I'll have to let you guys know about this. Again, the turn signal is not going to be an issue. And then looking, this is one more tip I'm just assuming for you guys is this is where your 912 marker light is going to plug into. But it looks like you definitely want to use that socket and screw it into the lamp just to keep this entire thing um, moisture free. So, uh... Anyways, that's kind of what I think of it. I, I mean, everything looks good now. Let's go ahead and get it on the truck and uh, we'll see how she looks. All right, guys, we're out in the front. Here's the truck. Here's the old lights. There's one here. So to get these off, you've got two 10 millimeters up top. And then you've got one down here on the side. You can use just a wrench or a, not a wrench, like a, a socket or whatever. But I'm going to come over here, get the old Ryobis. I've got a little impact driver. These little sets are pretty cool. Just a quick connect and got all different little sizes. Harbor Freight, man. Can't beat it. So just pop that guy in there. Start ripping these out. Oh, that's sweet. You got one, two, and then you get your third one down here. We got all three bolts out. Lay that here, and then to get the headlight out, all you're going to do is just pull forward, pull towards you. Let's get a little jiggle. We have to put your fingers here in the side. It's got little clips. Mm. Kind of hard to do one-handed. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this off, and then uh, meet you meet you back over here on the bench. And we'll get this going. All right, so I got it out. We are back on the bench, and I got the uh, the new one next to it, so you can kind of compare contrast. It's definitely an upgrade. Um, really like the new the new look so anyways here's the old bulb you can kind of see some of the uh look down in there it was cracking yeah you can see right through here it was cracking but that's actually what i painted i took this off and siliconed it back together so uh, on the back of it sorry about that. on the back of the old bulb you can see i had my old high kit with the uh or uh, led bulbs with the little resistor and all that um so that's this plug from your normal one the one that's on the truck hanging out here that's what's going to plug to your main uh, plug on the back here. And then um, down here is that little 912 bulb I was talking about. That's where you're going to get rid of the bulb. And that's going to be where the actual 
LED bulb plugs into from here, that little green one that's on the back. And then uh, obviously your uh, your turn signal is just gonna swap between the two, which is no big deal. So uh, anyways, uh, that's basically how I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm not gonna bore you guys with doing the same thing over and over again um, on the other side, but I'm gonna get both of those in, uh, plug it up, turn the car on, and we'll see how they look. Be right back. And there we are guys, completely done. They're on the truck, everything wired up. Surprisingly, right the first time. So I'll give you a little close up. Um, very happy with these. All the lines line up just as well as the factory ones did. Um, I've heard some people say they didn't really line up on some of the edges and stuff, but these ones look good. Lines match up. So obviously what you all came to see, let's take a step back and hit the unlock button. Three, two, one. Yeah. So we'll get some night shots when the sun goes down. It's still like lunchtime. I just did this on here. But uh, again, I still got to get the high beams to LEDs, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the uh, turn the headlights on and give you, give you a shot of those as well. And there's the headlights on. So I really like the halo because it doesn't light up the whole lamp like the, uh, the factory halogen ones do. But as soon as you get in that light, man, it's, it's party. Man, this thing's looking more like a Raptor than every and every day. So, uh, and I really like the light throw. It's even. Like I said, it's still daytime, but let me back up out of here. There it is on the wall. I mean, and again, the light bulbs are nine and three, so it's perfect. Um, again, it's it's high because my truck is obviously sitting high, and then the I got some weight in the back end, and my driveway is on a bit of an incline. Doesn't really look like it here, but uh, tonight when I get the uh, when it goes dark. I'm gonna put it on flat ground and see, um, you know, how they look. Oh, the last thing, they are adjustable, by the way, and they're uh, fairly easy to do that. You don't have to take off the, uh, you know, anything with it. Let me pop it up real quick. Go ahead and pop the hood here. So when you, uh, the tab is actually located right on these particular ones, right behind the top mounting bracket of these lights. And what it appears to be, is it's just a single flathead screwdriver. So you look down in there, I mean a uh, Phillips head. So again, here's the here's the light and right in that little hole there, you can they are adjustable. So I'm gonna play with the adjustments tonight, but uh overall man, I'm pumped about it. So we'll see you guys at night. Alright guys, we are back. It is nighttime, clearly dark skies you ready for this we're gonna hit the unlock button there you have it it looks so much better in picture it is blurring so much on the screen but it looks super super good this is just the marker lights on the grill and the uh, daytime running lights they are a sharp they're, they're a sharp line, just as they are. Let me see if I can't. All right, guys. So obviously, you can tell that I completely forgot to film an outro. I was just so excited about the lights. But um, that's basically going to be it for uh, today's video. Um, a couple things that I, I said I'd mention in the uh, in the video is that I did end up getting the high beam um, H1 bulbs. Um, I didn't have to modify that cap or anything. They just plugged and play. Um, and then the uh, turn signals, I just went on, again on Amazon. I'm going to link everything below. But I did go with uh, a couple uh, 3157 amber um, LED bulbs and then the resistors as well. You can get a four pack of resistors for like five or six bucks. So, uh, and obviously you can watch videos on that. You just plug and play as well. You just snip or butt join them onto the line. So uh, those worked out good. I do have a set of. Uh, 3157 red LEDs and I'm just going to replace the bulbs and the taillights. Um, I thought about doing like a matching, you know, DRL taillight, but for now I'm just going to do the uh, the bulbs and resistors in the back with the uh, the factory the taillights there. So uh, I think that covers everything. If you have any questions um, about anything that I didn't cover or didn't cover in depth, uh, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.